Hey guys, welcome back to the game replay. I'm Dave the Usher. The game we're playing is Final Fantasy X HD Remaster for the Sony PlayStation 3. Okay, all right, what's been going on? We killed Seymour. So there's that. Awesome. This is good. This is uh, this is a way to start a video. Yeah, I killed Seymour. Seymour's dead. Seymour Guado is no more. Good stuff. That is the best way to start a video. Oh yeah. Okay. So yeah, we. Went in here, Yuna did, and did her, I don't know, praying and whatever she does. We got a new Aeon, it's Shiva. We're inside of the Makalania Temple, and we gotta escape now because, well, apparently now we're traitors. Oh, because we murdered Seymour. Oh my, oh dear, oh bother. This is a problem. But escape doesn't seem to be too big a deal. Good stuff. Oh. Give me a break. What? Oh, cool. Man, I remember the first time I ever played this game, I was actually kind of suckered. You know, like, oh, we do have a cloister of trials to do. It's not in the beginning, it's at the end. Son of a... Uh, Titus, you were doing a lot of fancy jumps. Why don't you just jump across? You, you, you can reach them, obviously. No, no, can't do that, no. So now, folks, now we're going to start the uh, Cloister of Trials here in Makalania Temple. I remember the first time, once again, the first time I ever did this. This is like one that kind of stumped me a little bit. Uh, it's not that bad, but I don't know. It stumped me at first, back in the day when, you know, the game first came out and I first played through. Just a little bit. Okay, so, excuse me, pull. That's, that's what stumps me. How do I get, how do I get by? Ah, how do I get by that? Um, yeah, we got Makalonia spheres everywhere. You can kind of see certain stuff. Huh? Can't pick that up yet. Uh, let's get situated here. Uh, and then here's our restarter. Yeah. Uh, okay. So this is a glyph sphere. We'll take that there. Alrighty, there we are. Oh, and of course, what we have to do here is uh, repair the bridge, of course, so then we can get by. And, uh,. You know what? Already. And then we have to, uh, I don't know, we gotta put some spheres in these holes and, I don't know, take care of a couple things. Anyway. We'll repair it. We'll repair the bridge. Okay, so. Yeah, let's get this. I think we get this out now, or does it even matter? Yeah, you push the pedestal into the. Icicle stuff and that stops the I mean can't you just move it yourself and uh, it's it's kind of a little silly and ridiculous But this is what you do if you know what to do then just do it and that's the end Yeah, it may seem silly and like why would you push that there and who cares just do it uh -huh. The real annoying thing is that you kind of have to do this twice in a way <laughs> Depending on what you want to do. Okay, so that's there. There you go. Bop, bop, bop. Um, why don't we just head on down? Let's see. Uh, even I. Well, I haven't done this since my last playthrough, my Final Fantasy X uh, PS2 playthrough. All right, so I need that glyph sphere now. You just gotta, you gotta get access down there. Yeah. So, uh, let's see, we need, we, oops, excuse me, oh, these things get in my way. We need that sphere right there. Yeah, that pushes that up. So that solves that part. Okay, and, uh, yeah, we need the bridge back, so, uh, gotta get these Makalania spheres. Like, I could put one right here and get part of the bridge back up. Yeah, there's three sections of this bridge, and we gotta bring them all back online. Well, you saw, you saw when it disappeared. So let's see, a couple holes over there, some right there. Um, ah yes, and that. You can tell that's gonna lead to something, right? Uh, oh, bother. Okay. There's nothing more when you... Oh, 
nothing more we need to do except push that. Good stuff. Okay, so... Yeah, it's really not that hard. It's not... It's not too bad, really. I guess because it's different at first, uh... The first time playing this, you're like, hmm, wait a minute, something's different here. This is... This is crazy. I don't know what to do. The magic little chime. Good stuff. All you gotta do is uh, wait and listen for the magic little chime. So uh, that's it, we're done. But, oh boy. What about that treasure? Remember, all these temples have the treasures. Oh, and look at this. Well, we should touch it, right? We should activate it, see what happens. And now this is happening. Well, there goes part of our bridge. Oh, boy. Um, okay. There there you go, Titus. Jeez, man. Trying to, trying to push it. Ah, I see. So now we do this. And bring it back down. Oh, look, it's a different kind of sphere. It's a destruction sphere. Oh, so now we got to... Oh, okay, what's going on here? We gotta take this one out. And we gotta, you know, basically you kinda... It's a little back and forth game you play here. You pretty much know what I have to do. Yeah, you think you could just, like, push that down here, but no. Uh, yeah, I think I'd, I need to take this out. Yeah, of course I do. Oh, bother. Leave the Glyph Sphere alone. So yeah, I need that because I gotta put that back here. Because we're doing the whole game again, the whole routine once more. Yeah, it's important that we uh, reactivate these icicles here. That's important. Uh, <laughs> again, the thing, keep walking into these things. They're dangerous. All right, here we go. You can see what I'm up to here. Let's push you down now. Oh, excuse me. Oh no, it's it's too challenging. There we go, we got it. Third time's the charm. Yeah, really, um, the Cloister of Trials here at the Makalania Temple it's pretty much one room, kind of. I mean, I guess we have like this little basement floor right here, I guess, but uh, it's it's like the smallest one out of all the temples. Definitely, definitely. Okay, so now, there we are. That's our destruction sphere, and we just uncovered our temple's treasure. Oh boy, what's it gonna be, man? Lux Sphere! Hey! We all know about those. So, there you go. I'm done. Again, kinda. You know, I got the treasure. Once more, all we gotta do is get out of here. So I'm just gonna, gonna show you what we need up here. We need all three of our sections activated once more. But wait a minute. What about that other... Oh! Oh, man. I... That would have made me a little unhappy. Aren't we missing a certain sphere? Well, we are. Okay, so let's get you up here. Not holding anything, doesn't matter. I'm gonna push you back down. Oh no, wait, do we need something in there? No, no, we don't. That should, yeah, that should give us our sphere back. For a split second, I thought uh, we needed to, you know, exchange the sphere again, but I don't, I don't think we do. I'm just kind of freaking myself out. Okay, it's back, yeah. We don't have to... This isn't Indiana Jones. We don't have to replace our stolen treasure with a bag of uh, sand or whatever that bag was. Ah, movie references. That's a rarity. Okay, so here we go again. Yeah, 
Yeah, just a little repetitive, and uh, you know, that's pretty much it. It's really not that bad. At first, I really hated this temple. I couldn't figure it out, and I wish I could like go back and watch watch myself. What was it about this place that I couldn't figure out? You know? Uh, was it the treasure? It could have been the treasure. I mean, my memory's a little cloudy about the whole thing. But I just remember being in here for like, I don't know, 15 minutes, like, hmm, okay, but wait, wait, why is that not working? Wait, how do I get that? Now I gotta activate this, but what's the problem? I don't quite remember. Uh, ah. Yeah, my opinion now, uh, out of all the temples uh, in this game, nah, this one isn't the most uh, challenging slash annoying. I like to uh, include that, you know, challenging slash annoying. And this one, I mean, this one might be a little, like, repetitive and all, but it's not, I don't even think really annoying. Well, I'm going to say it's still annoying just because of my, I don't know, my older days playing this game. Oh, oh, wait, what am I doing? I'm removing the wrong sphere. But it's okay. What if it wasn't? What if I messed the whole thing up? So this is good, that's fine, everything down here is A-OK. -okay. This is the one you need to remove. Watch your left foot there, Titus. He's, he's on the edge. What if he just fell through the ice? And then fell and fell and died. Oh, I'm sure he'd be okay. There we are, once more. Oh, what else is there left to talk about? No chime? I deserve a chime. <laughs> I was about to bring it up, but I was gonna bring it up uh, when I got up here. You gotta be extra careful not to be loosey-goosey as far as uh, the controls go because one wrong move and you step on one of these damn things, you screw yourself and you mess up the whole thing. And it happened to me one time. Um, I don't know, in the many times I played this game, because I played it a lot, because uh, I like this game. And I don't know, I just recall one time I stepped on it and I was very grouchy grumpy. That sucked, man, that sucked a lot. So there you go, that is the Temple of Makalania, hooray! Oh, right, we're traitors, we killed uh, Seymour. That's a shame. Please. Give us a chance to explain. No need. I already know what I'll tell the other maesters. Meaning? Lord Seymour was the leader of the Guado before becoming a maester. You're not letting us go. Let you go? Lord Seymour would never forgive us if we did. Wait! Wait! Jiskel's sphere! We can show it to them! You mean this? Hey! The Guado take care of Guado affairs. Oh, wait! Run! Where are you going? Oh my, it's getting like very creepy and intense. Well, the Guado take care of Guado affairs and and Trommel just destroyed the only evidence that we had. Oh, maybe we should have taken that sphere with us after all, huh? Yeah, good idea. You've really done it now. Wanna buy something just in case? A waka, of course I do. Even though I rarely ever actually do, but you know, a waka is always there to help out. He's so nice. You be careful. Uh, on second thought, uh, no, actually. Okay, good stuff. Woof! Save Sphere, just in case you need it. Probably a good time to save because things are about to get really intense and thus the big chase begins. It's kind of a... 
it's kind of it's kind of scary, man. It's kind of intense. It's pretty uh, it's pretty cool. So you are literally running away from these Guado goons who are obviously faster than you are. They're faster in the sphere pool, and they're gonna be faster while they're chasing after you here. Let me tell you. So uh, we're gonna get a couple of these Guado battles, and you know they accompany, and uh, you know they kind of zap in a couple of monsters. It's uh, useful to steal from them because they got that auto potion thing going on. Yeah, the Guado are so annoying the way they uh, go about their battles. You know, it's kind of confusing though. Why do you guys think Trommel would destroy the spear? And uh, well, especially when you don't know or at this part of the game, uh, coming up with certain theories. Um, You'll probably come up with a couple theories as to why. You know, like one would be, uh, well, he didn't even look at the sphere. You know, he's still very unhappy about what just happened to his uh, lord, Maester Seymour. So, you know, it, I don't even care what this is. You know, you just killed Seymour. Why should I listen to you, man? Buka, destroy this sphere. Let's go. Let's get these guys. Or uh, perhaps... You know, maybe he actually did see the sphere. He was out there a long time before us because I had to uh, go through that Cloister of Trials, you know, and then redo the Cloister of Trials. Uh-oh, we gotta run. I had to do it and then redo it, actually. Ah, oh, one more battle. I turned around for the fun of it. You could actually just stand here all day and the Guado will just keep running up here and you'll get into fights again and again and again. Anyway, another theory is, uh, yeah, Trommel did view the sphere. You know, he saw Jisco, saw what he said, and, uh, you know, hey, still, the Guado... Oh, I need Riku. The Guado take care of Guado affairs. And perhaps that means, uh, you know, hey, this makes us Guado look bad. Our, uh, Guado leader just killed our, well, ex-Guado leader. This is no good. This is gonna cause us Guado a lot of embarrassment, and... This is gonna lead to a lot of bad stuff. Hey, we need to clean this up uh, quietly and carefully. <laughs> all the way. We need to dispose of all who know. Do you think that includes the? Uh, I need Lulu. I just pick mine. Do you think that includes the uh, couple people inside the temple that also witnessed uh, the sphere when we played it and you know heard you know what Jiskel had to say? <laughs> Do you think they're dead now already? I don't know. I don't know what's going on with those two. I don't know who they are. I don't know uh, anything about their well-being currently. <laughs> you know, uh, Trommel and his Guado goons probably came out and said, All right, get your teeth out. We're going to suck these chicks' blood, you know. Get those vampire Guado teeth out. Ah! No, I don't, they're not vampires. They're not vampires. I was about to say, you can see him running in the background there, and this guy just kind of came out of nowhere. This will be the last uh, Guado battle. So anyway, pretty much the only two theories right now would probably be like, you know, he doesn't even know about uh, the information on that sphere. He doesn't care. Or, uh, you know, we need to keep this hush-hush. Yeah, this isn't, this isn't really good, but we have to look at the reality. <laughs> And we need to handle this situation from within, you know, just the Guado. No outside uh, people will ever need to know. It's a cover-up, folks. Cover-up, pure and simple. I'll put my money on that, man. Cover-up. The Guado take care of Guado affairs. Okay, then. Oof. How you doing, Waka? <laughs> Waka's been vomiting every several yards now. <laughs> There's vomit all over the snow. His nerves, man, they're shot. So we got to uh, escape and elude our captors. Bad stuff. Well, they're not chasing us now. First time out here, you know, because we took the snowmobiles, but now, yeah, bring on the random battles, and I think this is a mistake. Are we supposed to run? 
And I think this was a mistake. I'm gonna just flee these. I won't go so easy on you. This was a mistake because it's really cool when those Guado uh, chase us. It's kind of a, it's kind of a little different from the norm. I think the Guado should have been chasing us out here too. You know, we'd we'd be running along this path and they'd be still chasing us. Why not, man? It's not like those battles were that so easy intense. On you next time. I mean, they weren't that intense at all. They were just decent battles. So I think, I think they should have kept the Guado chasing us. They should have had them chasing us out all the way through here. It would have added to the uh, the tension and the, the whole chase kind of effect. You know, it's it's actually almost creepy and spooky, spooktified. Probably because they're actually vampires. No, no, no. I won't go so easy on you next time. I don't know, I just kind of have a small theory that the uh, Guado might be vampires, that's all. Who's with me? The music also adds to the, kind of the spooky effect, you know? Okay, so even though the boss battle music isn't playing, uh, it's kind of a boss battle, yeah, man. Um, this is uh, Wendigo, accompanied by some Guado Guardians. Yeah, it says it right there with the help. Uh, come back, there it is. Heals himself with an auto potion, so stop him from using items. There you go. So the strategy here is to uh, steal with Riku. Get rid of the Guado goons and then uh, take care of our uh, Sasquatch here. Oh, that, that's cool. He gets him grumpy. He gets him very upset. Oh, good guy. There you go. Oh, they're so irritating. I swear, you might start really hating the Guado just because of the way they fight in these battles. You know what I mean, guys? Because, uh, what should I do here? because they use auto potions and then they like block attacks and then when they get killed they like man they have to use like magics and and just create really annoying like situations like all right i'm gonna die all right well here's my final middle finger to you you know up yours i'm gonna die ah, i'm gonna use haste on this guy or i'm gonna use protect on this guy like haha -ha. Take that, man. I'm sticking it to you. And they do. They really stick it to you. Oh, okay. So I'm just, uh... You know, I mean, it's not that hard. You got Unizaeons. If you have some overdrives, just summon it up and then just kill these dudes. I'm getting every character involved, of course. And we... Yeah, <laughs> get... Die! Get out of here! Oh no! And we do not have uh, Yuna's um, ability dispel learned yet. Yeah, Berserk, Shell, Protect. Good God. I'm just trying to keep these people alive and uh, switch them out of battle so I can just get everyone involved. Which would be nice. Uh, Waka and Lulu, I think I need to get in here now. Why not? Element reels. Up. Oh. There you go. Two out of three. Fireball. Yeah, not bad. I'll take that. Okay, uh, Kamari. Hey, overdrive. I don't think Aqua Breath's gonna do anything. Yeah, Kamari is now learning a couple of, uh, you can call them Waka skills. That helps. Yeah, Dark Attack or Dark Buster. There you go. Dark Buster will always get him, but it's just, uh, effects won't last as long. But, you know, whatever. Yeah, the Dark Attack's probably a really good thing in this battle here. Oh, uh, you know, oh, wait, actually, I'm gonna use, uh, Bio. 
Oh, he's immune! Disappointing. Hey, you know what? I am gonna steal from this guy. And I think I've gotten everyone involved. Oh, just a high potion. I think I've gotten everyone involved. Maybe Titus. Up. Oh. I can't remember if I tried that. Okay, now it's time we stop screwing around here. Let's just call in Yuna. I'm gonna go with Afrit. Yeah, and we're gonna finish this guy off. Forget this, man. That's what I usually do. Okay, uh, it's a big boss battle. You know, we should get everyone involved. Let's get that AP flowing. AP a flowing. Okay, we're done all that. Okay, Yuna, summon, kill. There you go. Yeah, so many uh, boss battles lately. I told you. Inside uh, of Lake Makalania, inside the forest of Makalania, at Lake Makalania, inside the temple of Makalania, and uh, now just outside the temple of Makalania. Again, you know, let's see, since, since being in Makalania, we've had uh, one, two, three, four. Ouch. Can I attack? No, no, oh, a swing and a miss there, good stuff. Hey, we can finish you off with another uh, hellfire. You see, this is why you do this. Be done with them. And this guy's no pushover. Especially because of the guado. Get them all grumpy and then protecting them and all. If I were to go into my uh, spear grid, I could show you. I'm really close uh, to learning a couple of new spells with Yuna. Uh, Dispel and I think Reflect, and actually I think Reflect comes uh, first. Those are some uh, pretty heavy hitter white magic spells. What a sore loser. He has to pound the ground like that. Urgh, I lost. Even with my, you know, steroids that the Guado injected me with, I still lost. But yeah, it's a good thing to get everyone involved in that battle because you get a lot of AP and then, eh, you know, just a good thing. Anyway, folks, we're trying to elude capture of the Guado. Things are getting pretty hectic, especially now we're apparently traitors. But where is this all going to lead us to next? That is the question. Here we go. Praise be to Yevon. That's what I would have said if I was a follower of Yevon. We were all there and in one piece even if I had a headache from wondering what was in store for us next. Looks like we took a little bit of a tumble. It's pretty obvious. Oh my, and uh, I don't know, we're in pretty good health considering. How far did we fall exactly? Because of our sore loser, had to uh, punch a hole through the ice. Okay, yeah, so now I am in my uh, sphere grid here. And I was just gonna... Yeah, here we go. So, yeah, Reflect and Dispel are coming up pretty soon for Yuna. And these are, these are pretty good spells. Yeah, definitely. You know, it's kind of interesting about... Uh, this system in Final Fantasy X is you can just kind of, you can go on a hunt. You can just uh, go crazy and keep on going and see, you know, oh, what's this spell? Hey, I'm going to eventually come over here. You can just check out anything you really want to. Oh, man. And it is a big place. It's quite the big place. 
Yeah, why not? Let's show you everyone. Yeah, Orin's over there, Titus is over there, Yuna over here. Kamari and Lulu are kind of close by. It's kind of interesting, right? Riku, Waka. Select button zooms in and out. So yeah, good stuff. Okay, let's really quickly then... Might as well do this now. It's fun, right? What is it about uh, role-playing games and taking and being satisfied with... Oh, no. Excuse me. Finicky system. What is it about uh, just being very satisfied with learning new spells and, and moves and, you know, getting stronger HP-wise or magic-wise and... You always get, like, a satisfaction out of something like that. Like, ah, oh, yes, I'm stronger, I'm faster, I'm quicker. It always leaves you with a satisfying uh, feeling. RPG-wise, of course. Riku. Yeah, but sometimes, uh, you know, stuff like that happens. Like, no, I don't want to move there. I'm, I'm trying to get here. It's kind of an issue with this. Do you use the analog or the directional pad for this? Usually, I use the directional pad, to be honest. I don't know why. Interesting. Uh, playing around with it. Okay, and I think that'll do it. Good stuff. Okay, folks, so we're traitors of Yavin. We killed uh, a maester, Maester Seymour. Uh, cool. All right, he's dead. Good stuff. And uh, we're on the run, man. We're on the lamb. Awesome. So here we are. We took a tumble, and uh, we're probably going to obviously plan our next move. Good stuff. But before we get to our next move, folks, I think I'm going to call it a wrap right here. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Of course, leave me those comments and tell me what you think. I'm Dave the Usher for The Game Replay. Stay tuned for the next part of Final Fantasy X HD Remaster. I will see you guys next time. I am out.